If you don't know who I am, or even if you hate me, today will change everything because we're making in and out animal style tots. Not fries, tots. At my restaurant, Not Not Tacos, shameless plug, we have an off menu item called drive through tots. They're kind of animal style tots from in and out though in and out doesn't use tots, they use fries. But we add a spicy cheese sauce to them. And they are, I say this with as much respect for in and out as I can, way f***ing better than theirs. There, I've said it. They're crazy delicious. There's three components. There's the in and out style sauce. There's the cheese sauce. And there's a sh ton of caramelized onions. Now look, this is not exactly like we make them at the restaurant, but if you make these at home, you may never get out of the house. I'm not kidding. This shit is as close to food porn, and I don't mean in the looking sense, I mean in the, I don't even know if I can complete that sentence. We're gonna start by caramelizing some onions. I'm gonna love these. Yellow onion, basic. Everyday, run-of-the-mill, garden variety, yellow onion that we're going to dice. So we cut it in half. We got two halves. To each half, we'll do the same thing. We'll flatten out this side like this. Then we'll peel it. Getting this first outside layer off. Push this to the side. So now we take our onion, put it flat on the deck, and we take our knife and we make some horizontal cuts this way. This is going to help us get a beautiful little dice out of the whole thing. We don't want to cut all the way through, just to that back edge. And then we turn it like this, and we're going to cut this way. And when you're done, ignore all these little pieces that are coming off right now. We turn again, and then when we cut like this, we get a beautiful little dice. Look how gorgeous that is. That's what you want. Just like that. Let's put that in a pan, and there you go. Can I do this? One quick swoop and of course I can't. Over here. Turn it up. And then we'll add some of our favorite chosen foods, avocado oil. Now these guys over the next dough, oh, 10 minutes or so, are gonna start to soften, get a little color, and become amazing. Sauce time, but, but, but before we do, two things. Uh, one, if you haven't seen it, we did the In-N-Out 4x4 burger. That is honestly one of the best burgers I've ever made. So delicious. So delicious, you should watch it and you should make it. Do everything I do, you'll be very happy. But two, as I was stirring here, the onions, with this, that we put a link to a version of this in one of the last videos we did. It's a, a flexible spatula that I say, is good for corners and stuff like that, and it's high heat, so it won't burn up. While I was stirring, I was thinking about this item that I can't find now. Oh, that I use, this one-arm Rosley can opener that uh, doesn't make a sharp edge that we said we'd put a link to. Well, we can't put a link because they don't make this anymore. There was another one that was uh, available. Some other brand made it but it had such terrible reviews, we would not put a link to it. So just know if we say we're gonna put a link, we will if the thing's available. Who knew at the time that this great single piece of kitchen equipment was no longer being made? So. Anyway, our sauce requires just a couple simple things. Mayo, mustard, pickle, uh, a ketchup-like product, and sriracha. You're gonna like this. 
bowl, and we do the following. Mayo, a little splash of mustard. I said ketchup-like thing. I'm actually using chili sauce because it's just got extra deliciousness in it. So some of this. You can see there's like, I don't know, bits of chilies in there. A little sriracha, not too much. And some diced pickle, which will come out of here. So I bought this jar the other day, literally two days ago, and Kelly has eaten, look, the entire thing. Not a commercial, and they would never be a sponsor because it's too specific an item, but if you're gonna buy dills, these, short of making them yourselves. So, short of making your own dills, bubbies are the way to go. And if you don't know, a bubby is a, is, a, is a Yiddish term for grandmother. And if you don't like a bubby, you're saying you don't like a Jewish grandmother, and then maybe you got all kinds of other problems. Maybe you don't like me, because I'm Jewish. And I want you to like me, and I want you to like everybody's bubby. I'm just telling you, those, that's why Kelly ate every one of these in like a day and a half. Shit, and they come from Canada. <gasps> Didn't know that. Excuse me. We have to do this. Big finish. Play ball. Make the sauce from Canada. Let's just dice this up really fine. Just a simple little dice, right? Simple. Now in the restaurant, this is very important because it's got to go in a squeeze bottle. So it needs to be like really tiny for your purposes, unless you're using a squeeze bottle, which you could be, you don't have to be that small. And then just into your sauce. There you go. Now Max, now what happens? Say it Max. I'm not gonna let you trick me. <laughs> we mix. Make sure we mix. <laughs> okay. Look at that. The colors. Like it looks like Thousand Island dressing. Somebody goes, oh, that's just fucking Thousand Island dressing. Oh no, it is not, bitch. You just taste that. I will fight the person that says that is Thousand Island dressing. It's incredible. I don't know why, but when I taste, I always use my middle finger. I guess I could use this one. Is that directed at me? No, just tastes better with the middle finger. Okay, cheese sauce. Simple, easy, uh, delicious. And since we're over here, we can look at our amazing onions. This is what you want, right? Just like that. Softened, little color, gorgeous. So kill the heat there, and it will live there beautifully. Now to our cheese sauce. We start in this pot, the couple tablespoons of butter, and they go, and they're gonna start to melt. And when they're almost melted, we add a couple tablespoons of flour, and we mix. A whisk is perfect for this. So we're incorporating we're mixing the butter with the flour, but we're also gonna do this for about a minute to get rid of what would be a very raw kind of flour taste. So technically this is making a roux, R-O-U-X, I always say it, and it's, it's, a, it's a thickening agent, just a way to turn something thick. Now we'll add about a cup of milk, and we mix that in nicely. Once the milk is in, it's mixed a bit. Now you can turn the heat up a little. 
And you see, it starts to thicken. And at this point, we start adding some shredded cheese. We're gonna add six ounces, a little at a time. And we stir. And this is a combination of cheddar and Monterey Jack. Gorgeous. A little more. Beautiful. More. The last bit. I love seeing it all grainy and chunky right now. And then wait about 20 seconds. And look. Like the world's easiest cheese sauce. So two things to add. One is a pinch of kosher salt and black pepper. And the other is our old friend, Sriracha, coming back for another performance. And everything becomes magic. Look at that. Do you know how good this is gonna be? Okay, turn this off for now. And here it is. Wow. I think I should probably taste it. A little hint of sriracha, cheesy, right amount of salt. Oh my God, I wish I had. I got nothing. Oh! Just a little piece of naan. Mmm. Mmm. Are there more sophisticated versions? Course. Could you use some fancy expensive cheese? Absolutely. Knock yourself out. Is this going to be f***ing insane with the onions and this animal style in and out sauce? Yeah, it is. Okay, only one piece is missing. Anybody know what that is? Tots. Tots. Yes, I have an oven. I could have tots in there right now. But I also am very close to Not Not Tacos. So I say we go get a tots from Not Not Tacos. Quick trip there and back, and then we're eating large. Let's go. Here's how we serve them in the restaurant. We put them in a classic Not Not Taco dish with sandpapers. How handsome. Half my face is. And then we go like this. Like a nice little pile of them. First the cheese sauce that looks like this. Oh boy. Mamma mia. You don't want an insignificant amount of it, and that means you want a lot of it. Next, we follow up with our in and out animal style sauce. Look at it, just melt down over the top when it hits that hot cheese. Two more things. The onions, hello onions, hello onions. Where's the spoon, where's the spoon?
Okay, I want you to make these at home. And finally, last but not least, and in a departure from In-N-Out, we add a little green onion. And there they are, look at them. Crispy tots, like crispy tots. The melty cheese, the, the In-N-Out animal style sauce, the gorgeously caramelized onions, and this the little hint of the sharp bite of the green onion on top. I know In-N-Out doesn't do that, but I don't care. I do what I do. I am my own man. My own man who's about to eat his own tots. His own delicious, crispy, oniony, cheesy, saucy tots. Holy sh! I'm mm. okay. I get the little sriracha coming through from the cheese sauce, and in the animal style sauce, the tots are crispy. Look, I think these are better than fries. I think these tots are better than their animal style fries. I'm not kidding. Am? Are they exactly the same as you would get them at? Uh, my restaurant, Not Not Tacos? No, there's some differences in what went into them. But they're delicious, crazy good, and you can make these at home. You, you right there. Get up off the couch. What was that movie? Broadcast News? The guy, I want you to go to, I want you to get off the couch, go to the store, buy the ingredients, come back and make these. Anybody old enough will get that reference. Howard something. I want you to go to your window. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore is the line that I'm thinking of. Mm. Look, look, here's where it gets amazing. Down here, down underneath all the madness, when you get the, when they, the tots soak up all of this deliciousness, the cheese, the, oh my God. I got to stop. I'll be 8,000 pounds in an hour if I keep going. Holy crap. This is why we're here. We're here so you can start doing this stuff for yourself. I say less fast food. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fast, but you're not going out for it. You're having it in. And it's as freaking delicious. So make this. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the notification bell. Thanks for being part of all this nonsense. And thanks for telling us what you want to see us make. That's what this is all about. It's an exchange. You say, guys, can you make this? We make this. You're happy. We're happy. And then I don't have to think because I might run out of ideas one day. Thank you so much. So, so much.